Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teach you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. I want to give you guys a quick update and a quick shout out to all of you guys that have reached out on my other social media platforms. Thank you so much for the love and support that I've been getting from you guys. I truly appreciate it. If you guys don't follow my other social medias, definitely follow. I have all of my links uh, in the description box below. If you guys are interested in personal readings, uh, spiritual work, or any of the manifestation books or shadow book journals, you'll be able to find all of that on the description box below. All right, Pisces, a lot of massive transformation that everyone's experiencing. I'm sure you have felt it. And I want to give you guys a quick uh, astrological update really quick. Obviously, uh, recently, not obviously, just yesterday, we have Pluto retrograde in the sign of Aquarius. So what does this mean? Unlike Mars or Mercury retrograde, instead of it creating problems or difficulties, when Pluto, a generational planet, goes retrograde, it is dealing with themes that we have already been dealing with, but we've already overcame. So when it goes retrograde, it's kind of like this nostalgic type of energy or theme will come up that you've been dealing with already but it's bringing your power back. So wherever in your, wherever area in your life you felt like you weren't in control or like your power was taken from you, with it being retrograde, it's bringing your power back tenfold. It is creating or giving you a new armor, a new protection, a new wisdom, power. Uh, for some of you guys, money. You know, Pluto is a planet of money. Um, and throughout, uh, I believe in September, it's going to dip back into Capricorn, which has been there for the past 20 years, um, it's going to dip back into the last degrees of Capricorn, and then it's going to move back into Aquarius stationing finally there uh, for the remainder of the 15 years. So it's been having this dance between Aquarius and Capricorn. So wherever you have Capricorn and Aquarius placement, these are the themes that are basically wherever Pluto goes, it transforms, right? Think of it as it going into a house, burning it down, so that you can rebuild on a more solid foundation with armor, basically, because it empowers you. It gives you that, you know, that rebirth. Think of it as the phoenix, you know, rising from the ashes. So again, a lot of massive transformation. We are already seeing this. This is something that we've been seeing since last year, where people that when it was in Capricorn, people that were taking advantage of their power, of their authority, uh, at the expense of everyone else, they are being dragged. They are being basically uh, having to deal with their own karma. And we're seeing that in, you know, celebrity culture right now, people just being called out, their dirty laundry being dragged out and people going in and out of jail. That's something that is going to continue. Why? Because the shadow side of Capricorn is, again, getting power at the expense of everyone else. And Aquarius is quite the opposite. It is about the collective. It is about what's beneficial for everyone, not just for one person. So again, it's being held responsible for circumstances, situations that you've created in the past. We're already seeing that. Like I said, again, Aquarius is about, you know, everyone else and the collective. We're already seeing the marches um, happen in the colleges, you know, people protesting that is very Aquarian type of energy. So we're already seeing all of these themes come up. We also just experienced the season of, or the eclipse season, obviously massive transformation there. Uh, this last solar eclipse was in Aries. The previous one was the lunar eclipse in Libra. That's where we have the south node in Libra. We have the north node in Aries. And when the solar eclipse hit, we had multiple planets there. Um, you know, Mars being there, we had uh, Chiron is in Aries, which is the wounded healer. Uh, a lot, a lot of, you know, massive transformation. So we're being forced to deal with our shadow aspects, right? With our trauma from childhood, from um, having to deal with things that now at this point in time, it is important for us to realize, okay, this instead of helping me has created hindrance in my growth and evol evolution. And it's having to deal with that so that you can fully heal and become, again, the phoenix rising from the ashes. So again, uh, Pisces, you're also one of the signs that has been experiencing a lot of difficulty. You have Saturn in your sign. It's been there for a while. 
Um, so for a lot of you guys, this is going to play out in many different ways. Yes, Saturn is a difficult planet because it speaks about discipline. It speaks about hard work. Things don't come easy. Um, but for some of you guys, especially because it's in the sign of Pisces, uh, for some of you guys, it's, you know, realizing um, your toxic traits when it comes to relationships. At what point do you continue self-sacrificing yourself for that for that relationship? Uh, why are you allowing people to breadcrumb you? Why are you allowing people to step all over you? Why are you allowing to be the only one that's carrying a relationship, okay? Saturn is longevity and it is long-term. So for a lot of you Pisces out there, with Saturn being in your sign, for some of you guys, you will be meeting by the end of this Saturn uh, transit. For some of you guys, you will be meeting the partner that you're going to marry or you will be meeting the partner that is going to play a very important role in your life. However, Saturn doesn't bring things easy to us. So again, if you're in a toxic relationship or if you're having difficulty releasing a relationship through this process, it is important for you guys to know the balance. Again, North Node is in Libra. That's what we need to walk away from going towards Aries, being more aggressive in your pursuits, being more aggressive in what you expect in partnerships and relationships. For some of you guys also, when I see a Saturn transit in your sign, uh, it could be for some of you guys meeting a person that is meant for you while you're still in a toxic situation. So again, like I said, Saturn brings at the very end of a transit, it will always bless you. It will always, if you put in the work, you will always end up being rewarded for that hard work. You know, think of Saturn as like the very discipline, the very not emotional, but more authoritative type of father figure. It will take care of you. It will give you that blessing only after you've learned those lessons. So Pisces, if you guys are dealing with this type of situation where it's with relationships, it's with the workplace, dealing or self-sacrificing too much at the point of, you know, emptying yourself, pouring into other people, um, you're going to have a very difficult transit. However, if you realize, okay, you know what, at this point, I am no longer going to, you know, I'm not no longer going to deal with this. This is exactly what I want. This is exactly what I deserve. And if you become disciplined to that, meaning you become loyal to yourself, then Saturn's going to bless you. And like I said, oftentimes when Saturn goes into your sign, it will bless you with a long term committed relationship or even marriage. So there you go okay now let's get into your reading pisces sorry for the long intro but a lot of changes are happening and i just wanted to give you guys updated so that you guys can kind of understand if it feels like your head is spinning right now with all the changes and all the craziness that's happening just know we'll get through this okay all right here we go i call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides spirits of light and love my ascendant master spirits of divination please step forward allow us to see here sun feel and receive the messages for pisces sun moon raising venus what are the messages that we have here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right. Let's see what you can expect, Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Another thing that I'm getting for some of you Pisces out there, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while or you've been in relationships where it's like situationships, for some of you guys, there is... A connection that's coming through that is going to force you to become disciplined or to become more self-aware of your toxic traits um, and I feel like this is a more mature Saturn in your sign usually does bring more mature type of energy whether it's an age gap or whether it's a person that is much younger than you but more mature um, so that's what I'm seeing for some of you guys okay here we go Pisces Sun Moon Rising Venus Let's see what is unfolding for you guys for this month of May 2024. I apologize if I've been talking really, really fast. Fast. That's usually what happens when I'm channeling. And um, I've been very, very on it <laughs> with all these readings. All right, here we go. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, Pisces. Here we go. Five of Wands. The King of Wands. The Emperor. The Knight of, of Swords. Sorry. Temperance and the Six of of ones. Okay. So what they're showing me here, Pisces, is for a lot of you guys, you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed or you're feeling like life is very difficult right now. Like things are not coming easy. Maybe even plans are falling apart or falling short from what your expect expectancy was. And the reason for this is, again, like I said, 
with Aries in the North Node, we're being pushed to not no longer be passive, but to be more proactive in our pursuits. Be more proactive or more vocal about what you expect in relationships. Being more aggressive in your what you deserve, what you're worthy of, and speaking that into existence. With the Five of Wands and the King of Wands, it's feeling a little bit threatened or challenged with the difficulties that you're going through. But know and understand, Pisces, that through this process, it's bringing to you uh, the type of stability you've always wanted. For a lot of you guys, a lot of healing energy that's happening here. We have a lot of fire energy. So, you know, obviously we just experienced a solar eclipse in a fire sign. So for a lot of you guys, it's really understanding. Like I am no longer content with this situation. I am no longer happy in this relationship. I am no longer happy in this job. I am no longer happy. And it's like you're putting your needs and your desires before anything. And for some of you guys, people may be thinking that you're taking unnecessary risk for some of you. Um, that's if you're not already dealing with this type of energy. It could be as simplistic as you go to work and you just realize, you know what, I deserve to be um, treated better or I deserve to be getting paid more money and like you just on a whim get up and walk away or you quit. For others of you, it's quitting a relationship that is extremely toxic and you're like, you know what, I'm done making excuses. I'm no longer happy here and I want to go find my happiness. For others of you, it's that you've been stagnant or you haven't been proactive in your pursuits of what you want, that you're like, you know what, I've had it. I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to be doing the same thing I was doing last year or the year before that. I'm making shit happen. You're being proactive about it. And again, people may take, they may, you know, feel like they're taken aback by how you're reacting right now, Pisces. Um, it, it's like you're basically listening to your soul. And people may be looking at you like side eye, like what's going on with you, Pisces? Like, why are you acting a little bit out of character? But it's because you're being forced by the universe to put yourself, your needs and your wants before anything else. So if that job is not working for you, you may just walk away from it. If that relationship is not working for you, you're like, you know what? I'm done with this breadcrumbing. I'm no, I deserve better. Like, I'm done. You walk away from that. For others of you, it's even cutting out people, friends. Uh, friends that you've been with or that you've known for a very long time, it's cutting ties with them because you're like, you know what? You bring nothing but chaos to my life or you bring nothing but drama to, to my life. I want nothing to do with that. You're being very, very aggressive in your happiness and your peace of mind and what you know you deserve. With the Knight of Swords and Temperance, it's like you're coming out of this energy of like healing. For some of you guys, your confidence is going to be progressing and getting better as the month progresses because I see you guys very empowered only through this healing that happened. Again, we have Chiron in the sign of uh, Aries, which is in the North Note. So for a lot of you guys healing certain limiting beliefs and like no like freeing yourself from that. And you're walking towards success. You're walking towards stability. You're walking towards um your happiness. And I feel like you're being unapologetic. If you don't feel this type of energy right now, Pisces, you will be feeling this at the end of this month for sure. Because you have the, the king of wands, you have the emperor card and you have the six of wands. So this is giving to me very much a lot of fire energy, obviously, but passion is a representation of fire, passion and courage. And, you know, even aggression, aggression in following your pursuits and your happiness. So good for you, Pisces. I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight. I want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.